Joshua, Joshua, wait, Joshua, Joshua, Joshua. And you can see we've got Daddy there. Hi, everybody. Welcome to our channel. Welcome back or welcome to our channel. This is, who are you? Joshua. Joshua. This is Joshua. He's 12 years old and he has high functioning autism. You're lucky I knew the words. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Daddy knew the words, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, stay tuned for the video. And you're doing something super cool for everybody today. What did we just film? Do you remember what it's called? Me running away from you. Right, come over here because they can't hear you if you're over there. It's what? Me running away from you. You running away from me. And that's called elopement, which is something that a lot of kids do when they have autism. They will run away from their parents. Um, it could be running out the house. It could be running out of the car. And you used to do that, didn't you? Yeah. You very bravely showed everybody what that looks like, and I'm super proud of you for doing that. So. A good example, this used to happen all the time. You would want to stop at a store, and I couldn't stop at, a, at that store, we whatever. And so as soon as I would stop the car at a stoplight or something like that, he would literally get out of the car and run. We had to like do lockdown in the car. And when I say lockdown, we literally had to have them strapped in the front seat. Somebody had to drive with us. The children's locks on the door so he couldn't get out of the car. Window locks on the windows. Um, but he slowly grew out of that. And he's now what we call a wanderer. Do you know what a wanderer is, Joshua? Do you know what that means? I'm walking nonstop. You what? Come here. Me walking nonstop. A person who walks nonstop. That's right. And that is really what a wanderer is. You do it in particular times when you see, a lot of times when he'll see something that he wants to to look at, like a sign or something like that. He will, as we're walking somewhere and he's with us, he will slowly start to wander away. And we know this now, so we watch him, but we will be right there with him watching him. And he'll kind of wander away and he'll turn and look and he doesn't, he can't see us, we can see him. And it scares him. He's not doing it because he's upset. He does it because something catches his eye. So, and all. What, what is? That slushy right there. That pink slushy. Oh, I don't know what it is, honey. It's you gotta a go voodoo. Huh? You gotta go near there to see what it's called. Hold on. So, in all seriousness, this is um, very... We're getting off topic a little bit. Oh, we are? Okay, What? What? how do we get back on topic? Can you get us back on topic? I don't know. I don't... What about elopement, you mean? Yeah. Getting back on that? Well, I was only talking anymore. You do the wandering. You kind of wander. So, I was trying to show how it's kind of transitioned into something different for you but I also you're right because there is still more to the topic of elopement because there is what's called there is what's called autism regression and he can have this if he gets upset about something he can have autism regression where he will again do the elopement so we have to be really careful about that and anything can set him off on that stop okay go Joshua and Joshua's getting out of the car and he's going, and Joshua, Joshua, wait, Joshua, Joshua, Joshua. Good job. Good job. That was cool. That was great, honey. Good job. Behind the scenes camera action. Yeah. <laughs> we got our. Our safety, our security officer, safe, what do you call it, bodyguard, our guard for Joshua. And you can see, we've got Daddy there. Daddy's there waiting for him. And that, you guys, the car door's left open. That was all in a matter of seconds. Here, come here. Good job. Good job. Do you remember when you used to do that? Yeah. Do you? 
Do you remember why you used to do that? Because if you know why and you can tell people, that'd be really helpful. No. You don't know? Come here. But you do remember that you used to do that, right? Yeah. You'd get out and you'd run or you'd run across the parking lot or run a bun a in a store. You'd run away from us. And, and kids do still do that, and that's very dangerous, right? So what would you tell the kids, if you could tell all the kids, what would you tell them? Not to run. Not to run, right? Mm -hmm. And if something scares them, what would you tell them to do? Maybe grab a hold of their mommy or daddy? Yeah. Yeah. So we had daddy here helping today. You're the catcher. <laughs> he was really in character. He's really trying to show everybody how, to, how this It was happened. completely safe and a very contained area. We did not have any type of danger to Joshua whatsoever. So I wanted to let you guys know that. Uh, Joshua was doing it as fun. He was having fun. And he was actually racing his dad. So it was very fun for him. So when you do watch the video, just keep that in mind that, that we did not take this lighthearted. We did not, uh, we understand this is very serious and we have dealt with this a lot. We had to harness Joshua back about five years ago, six years ago. He wasn't a loper and this video was sparked because of a video I watched from another family, Ready, Set, Autism. I'm going to leave their link in our description box. They just put a video out a couple days ago where their daughter did try to, uh, uh, she is an eloper, she is harnessed, she's nonverbal, and so go check that video out. Uh, but it's something that's very close to my heart because I see a lot of children winding up in lakes and, you know, lost because they take off and they elope. And thanks for watching.